Dear students, this is 12th Zoology class, chapter 6, part 2, Evolution. Chapter 6, part 2, Evolution. Last video class, we have seen Origin of Life. Theory of special creation we have seen. Theory of spontaneous generation we have seen. Then what is Big Bang Theory we have seen. And what is co-surveys we have seen. Then what is biogenesis we have seen. The next topic we are going to see is the one. Theory of chemical evolution. Theory of chemical evolution evolution primitive organisms in the primordial environment of the earth evolved spontaneously from inorganic substances and physical forces like lightning yeah, and uv radiations volcano activities in the beginning of the earth, the chemical evolution occurs by evolved in the environment spontaneously from inorganic substances and physical forces. Okay, how organism exists it means through chemical evolutions, organisms existed. How this organism exists through chemical evolution means the primordial environment of the earth. So that earth evolved spontaneously from inorganic substances and physical forces. That physical forces only we say lightning, UV radiation, volcano activities. Here we are going to see two scientists opinion how organism existed through chemical evolutions. One scientist name called as a Oparin. One scientist name called as a Oparin. In the year of 1924, Oparin suggested that organic compounds could have undergone a series of reactions leading to more complex molecules. Oparin says, he says, the organic compounds, they are undergoing some type of reactions through continuously. Because of the continuous reactions, they form more complex molecules. This is Oparin suggestion. And also his concept, the Oparin concept, he says, the Oparin proposed that the molecules formed Colloidal aggregates or co -surveys. So that more complex molecules, that molecules are formed. Colloidal aggregates are co -surveys. How that molecules are formed means through the co -surveys. co -surveys means that's a semi-liquid, semi-solid we can say. In an aqueous medium. So the chemical evolutions, the given opinion by Oparin, there was a organic compounds, they undergone a continuous reactions because of that the more complex molecules are formed. So that complex molecules are formed, colloidal aggregates or co -surveys. How this complex molecule forms means in the form of semi-solid we can say or semi-liquids we can say in an aqueous environment. So that co-surveys were able to observe and assimilate organic compounds from the environment. So that co-surveys, co-surveys means what? That is a semi-solid we can say. How this, how this semi-solid, how co-surveys are found means due to an aqueous environment. Aqueous environment means what? Liquid a water environment. Through the water environment only the co-surveys, semi-solid 
of uh, general exceptions of course are with form they that co-servates observe organic compounds in their environment. Through the absorbing of the organic compounds from the environment, organisms are existed, as said by Waparin. So this is the concept, how to environment you have to mark it. Here, starting from Waparin, that is a one point up to the more complex molecule. Second point, he proposed from that to here up to organic compounds from the environment. This is important topic. That's why I'm just giving more explanations. Just listen here. The next scientist called as a Haldane. Next scientist called as a Haldane. In the year of 1929 proposed that a primordial sea served as a vast chemical laboratory. So in the year of 1929, the Haldane said that the, in those days, that's a primordial C. In those days, the C, there was a vast chemical laboratory. There was a more chemicals were there in the C. That is why the C is called as a, C was called as a chemical laboratory. So that's chemical laboratory. The continuous, re uh, continuous uh, powered uh, by solar energy. The continuous lightning. Uh, come from solar energy. So that is the first point. He proposed that a primordial C served as a vast chemical laboratory powered by solar energy. How this chemical laboratory are getting heated due to solar energy. That is the meaning of it. Powered by solar energy means the chemical in the C there was a lot of chemicals were there. That is why it is called as a chemical laboratory. So they become too hot. That's what they say powered. How they become too hot means by solar energy, by releasing of rays from solar energy, from sunlight. The next what happened? Second point here. This is the first point of the Alden. The second point, the atmosphere was oxygen free. The atmosphere, you know what I mean by atmosphere? Wherever air is there, that is because atmosphere. The atmosphere was oxygen free. Then and the combinations of carbon dioxide, then NH3 and UV radiations gave rise to an inorganic compounds. The atmosphere there was no oxygen due to combinations of CO2, NH3 and UV radiations give rise to organic compounds. So the C become a hot dilute soup. So the Alden said, Alden called that C become as a dilute soup containing large populations of organic monomers and polymers. The first point he says, the, in the C it was a chemical laboratory, it was heated by due to solar energy. Second point, there was no uh, oxygen in the atmosphere. The third point, the combinations of carbon dioxide and NH3 UV radiations give rise to organic compounds. Then that C become as a hard dilute soup. They contain large populations of monomer and polymers. Monomers and polymers. And that group of monomers and polymers, they acquired, they acquired lipid membrane. The group of monomers. They envisage that total need no need. Here, the group of monomers and polymers, they get or uh, they acquire lipid membranes from that lipid membrane they developed the first living cells that's what they say that's the concept of all then okay the group of monomers and polymers that to join together they appeared lipid membrane or uh, they acquired lipid membrane further that developed into first living cells from that lipid membrane the first living cells were Develop. So that is a concept of Alden. Alden coined the term probiotic soup. One word important one. One word. And this become the powerful symbol of the apparent Alden. Alden view on origin of life. Just mark it important one word. Who has coined probiotic soup? Which means Alden has coined probiotic soup. 
Okay, the next one, the Oparinal then independently suggested that if the primitive atmosphere were reducing, if primitive atmosphere was reducing and if there was appropriate supply of energy such as lightning and or UV light, then there is a wide range of organic compounds can be synthesized. In those days, if there was a reducing of atmosphere and if there was an appropriate supply of energy or like uh, lightning or UV, or UV, there is a wide range of organic compounds. That would be possible of having more organic compounds can be synthesized. That is the one concept of Vaparin, Aldin. The next topic is the one geological time scale. Geological time scale. The durations of the Earth's history has been divided into eras. That includes the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Xenozoic. So duration of Earth history that is we call as a geological time scale. That is we call as a geological time scale. So this geological time scale has been divided into era. Era means at a time or you can say durations. That you era that includes Paleozoic era, Mesozoic era, and Xenozoic era. The reason eras are further divided into periods which are split into epoch. Underline just these are another very, very important one. Three eras Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. This reason eras are further divided into periods which are split into epochs. The geological time scale with the durations of the eras and periods with the dominant forms of life is shown the tabular column. We'll see what is Paleozoic era characterized. The Paleozoic era is characterized by abundance of fossils of marine invertebrates. We are going to see one by one as we have seen that uh, Eras are divided into Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. Okay, that Paleozoic era, we are just going through the explanations, detail about the Paleozoic era. What are the characteristics of Paleozoic era? In this era, in this Paleozoic era, there was a more and more fossils of marine invertebrates. rates. You know what is fossils? That's a proof or evidence of that one. In the, those days, the Paleozoic era, there was a marine invertebrates, more marine fossil invertebrates were there. Towards the latter half, other vertebrates are appeared. That is because of marine and terrestrial, except birds and mammals. Except birds and mammals. Here, birds, mammals appeared. The seven periods of Paleozoic era, in order to form oldest to youngest or Cambrian or Cambrian underline just this word Cambrian age of invertebrates that is we say Cambrians here the seven periods of Paleozoic era first one is the one Cambrian underline just write you can one you can write it in numbers as a one Cambrian which means age of invertebrates will be there more and more in the Cambrian periods then second one Ordovician just repeat after me. Second, Paleozoic era of periods is the one Ordovicians. In this Ordovicians, freshwater fishes appear. Astrogodomus, Astrogodums. Various types of mollusks were appear in this Ordovicians. The third one, Silurian. Underline Silurian. Just write third. Organ of fishes. Then fourth one, Devonian. Age of fishes. Many types of fishes such as lungfish, and low fin fishes and rays fin are there. Fishes are there. Then next one, Mississippian. Next one is the one, Mississippian. And that is a Mississippian means earliest amphibians, echinoderms were there in this Mississippians of the Paleozoic periods. And next one is the one, pencil. Vanian. Just repeat after me. Pennsylvanian. This is the sixth period of Paleozoic era. That's the earliest reptiles. The last one, seventh period of Paleozoic era is the one Permian periods. 
that is the mammals like reptiles were appeared in this seventh periods of Paleozoic era. You can underline each and every periods of Paleozoic. Okay, again, just I'll repeat first one, underline the Cambrian, just write one. Then Ordovicians, underline, just write two. Then third one, Silurian. Then fourth one, Devonian. Then fifth one, Mississippians. Can you find Mississippians? Then sixth one, Pennsylvanian. The seventh one, Permian. So these are the seven periods of Paleozoic era. Just go through. Today we are just completed what is Paleozoic era introductions part. And also we have seen geological time scales. And also we have seen origin of life of theory of chemical evolutions of Alden concept and Oparin concept. This two scientist concept of chemical evolutions is very very important one. If you don't understand, you can ask me. Just go through today itself. If you don't understand, if you don't go through today itself, you will, it is difficult to understand. If you have any doubt, you can contact me. Okay, bye. Take care.